All right. Now uh, let's see here. Hey guys, welcome back to twitch.tv slash Elpikachon. Also, uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you. You can watch these videos at um, our YouTube channel called Lopez Family Variety Channel. I know it's a very long name, but I thought it was good. So what are you going to do? Um, yeah, so... Uh, in the last session that we played, uh, we've been on the trail of Sword Ward and Shield Bird, or maybe the other way around, Sword Bird and Shield Ward, I don't know. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, uh, trying to catch up to those guys, and last session, we didn't even, they didn't even show up. We spent so much time talking, talking about D&D &D that, uh, we didn't even get to play Pokemon that much. But today we're going to focus. We're 100% not going to get distracted. Getting distracted is not something we do here. So we're going to go for it. Uh, Lagnus says you can help derail the stream in real time. Yes, if you watch, if you watch live on twitch.tv slash uh, you can in fact help derail the stream in real time. I don't even remember where we're supposed to be going. Well, the Pokemon Center for one. Ah, uh, no. Which one's the guy that buys stuff? I guess I don't have one. Yeah, today we're starting out. Uh, we're starting a little bit early. Maybe we'll end a little bit early too, just because uh, I've got stuff kind of budding back to back. Uh, let's see. Okay. We are going to Ice Town. Just like a uh, disgraced child mayor, Ben Wyatt. That's a pop culture reference for everybody watching. Save. Now there's a good chance that we're going to face off against an ice type. So, I, I got a fire type in my back pocket. MTG player has actually been doing a really good job, so... Let's see if we can keep that streak going. It's an onion! Oh no, that's Melanie. Get to safety, you three. Hey, Benny Hanna, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hang out. It's all good. We're playing Pokemon. Only poison types, though. Peter says, "Who'd you think we're? Who'd you think you're talking to? Then we're here to help, not be helped." Melanie says, "Oh, it's you three. I was a little too into things and didn't notice right away. I'm afraid." Petunia's here, so everyone can relax. They really place a lot of. Uh, they, they really place a lot on the champion. Like, do I want to be champion when, like, it's not just about being a sports superstar and celebrity? Like, I also have to, like, fly around the entire region putting out fires. 
possibly literally, because I don't think I've seen a, a fire department. Lightning says, well, at least it's not an elected 14-year-old princess wrecking the whole universe. I guess that's true. Uh, I was just going over a plan on how to handle things. With all these strong trainers together, I'm sure we can work something out here. Are you all ready then? Let's head to the pitch. Oh, maybe we'll do another uh, raid type battle. Nope, just me by myself. Oh, it's, it's Frostlass. Frostlass is an ice ghost type, right? Scotty Mo says, way to go, David Beckham. Now go solve the climate crisis. Yeah, right? Uh, Scotty says, my reference proves I am both old and don't know a lot about sports. Eh, I mean, people know who Beckham is. They made a whole movie about bending it like him, so. Alright. I think we're probably going to get wrecked here, but we'll see. Captions working. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Boogity boogity. I'm a spooky g ghost. Nope. Alright. Try not to die. That's not too bad. It's about half. That's what I would expect. And it lowers defense, so... There you go. Good job, MTG player. Lagna says, we're still on the ozone layer, right? People don't talk about the ozone layer that much anymore. I, I, think, I think we successfully, like switched out of using like freon and uh and aerosols so now the ozone layer is okay but we still have a bunch of other problems uh is everyone feeling all right haha <laughs> just barely battling a dynamax pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work Oh ho ho, of course, you had no problem, Petunia. You really seem like a reliable trainer too, Hop. I do? Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin wider than a Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Pierce. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battle. No need for anyone to worry. Petunia is not much of a reward, but have a copy of my League card. Oh. You should. If I don't remember after this conversation to look at our League card, somebody remind me to look at our League card. Give me a call if anything happens. Don't overdo it out there. Right. I think that's all the stadium sorted out now. We didn't miss any, did we, Petunia? Pierce says, all that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. Is like... Is Pierce's name... Is that... Like, do, do British people ever spell Pierce like that? I thought it was like... Actually spelled like Pierce, like stab. I don't know. Uh, all that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quickly, they could just start all this up again. Wasn't Professor Sonia supposed to be looking into w where those two might be? And once we find them again, I'm going to take them right down. Beep, beep. Beep. That's your Rotom phone, Petunia. It's gotta be Sonia, because no one else calls us. Petunia, it's me, Sonia. Heh, <laughs> called it. <laughs> hop right ahead. Hop, hop already played this game. Uh, let's see. Lagnus says, can Petunia bend it like Beckham? Uh, no. As you can see, Pokemon protagonists are very stiff. I don't think she can lift her foot, like, higher than, you know, where her knee is right now. 
Uh, those Sword and Shield weirdos got it, got into Hammerlock Stadium and are headed to the energy plant. The door to the plant's locked, but I think I can get it open. Give me a bit and you'll be able to get in there. You hear that? Hammerlock Stadium. Get over there as soon as you can. Even over the phone, Sonya sure sounds lively. Pierce says we should hurry to Hammerlock Stadium. Alright, let's go to Hammerlock Stadium. Um, this team seems fine. Where Hammerlock is there. Let's go. Oh yeah, I don't know if I remember to say, but of course, as always, I'm joined by my sidekick, Smokey the Smoke Detector. Um, Smokey has been with us pretty much from the beginning of this run, and uh, has been a great help, and a great comfort in our time of need. Alright. Let's see what this person is up to. Or these guys. Oh, are my Pokemon healed? Yes. Smokey coughs loudly in appreciation, yeah. Wow, you're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've almost got it, huh? That's strange. Yamp, yamp. Yampity yamp, I'm a Pokemon. Wah, wah, wah. That's fun. What? It opened? Yamper, I should have known. Thanks for your help. Nothing. Those two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful. Lagna says, let's just continue talking about Beckham until Rodrigo goes off on a tangent. It is going to be harder for me to go on a tangent about Beckham than in, for like other topics. Um, although, I do have some... Uh, Spice Girls facts, I guess, that I could talk about. Yeah, ain't nobody tell me nothing. You can't make Yamper talk. He's a he's not a snitch. Lagna says why Rodrigo's not an acclaimed voice actor yet is a surprise every day. That's right. When it comes to Talking and making noises as tiny animals. Who else are you going to go to? Well, well, well. It seems that you have broken the lock and rescued the stadiums from their perils. As expected of the champion... Who are those people? <laughs> who are those people with them? As expected of the champion... You, followers, give them your praise. Yay! Everybody's clapping, and yet nobody is clapping. What's with these weirdos? They really creep me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Oh, snap. Yeah, so we've uh, we've concluded that um, Sword, Sword Ward and Shield Bert are, like, just acerbic caricatures of, like, the British monarchy. So these must be, like, people who that are really into royals. I don't know. I don't know if like British people give those people a specific name, but yeah, there's like people that have like are like, oh my god, the Queen is amazing all the time, 100% of the time, and I think that's who those guys are, those guys are supposed to be. Speaking of hairspray, yeah, yeah, it's gotta it's gotta be difficult to maintain that that shield shape. All the lies and fake stories you all believe, we did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. Zijan and Samacenta saved all of Galar. Pa, what a fool. 
We have always been revered as the resplendent descendants of the real hero. It's all because you ruffians had to go and save Galar from Eternatus, and that woman went and wrote a whole book about it all. Boo! That's right, that's right! You should be ashamed. You said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just carelessly changed history. This is hardcore. Uh, what does that mean, we are? You dare say that our esteemed ancestors were liars? Well, I could believe that you two are descendants of a Galarian king. That's right. Compare the way things were to the, the way they are now. It's obvious that the old history was better. Yeah, make Galar great again. To suddenly start creating heroes left and right, it's complete rubbish. You're wrong. What I wrote was the truth. Ah, she's she's cute. I like her upset upsetty face. My hypothesis was that Sajan and Zamazenta have been protecting the Galar region since ancient times. Uh, Lagna says, I know what I really, really want. Yep. Uh, Lagna says, a Pokemon game set in Star Trek. Worf would be an awesome gym leader. Yeah, that would be interesting. Well then, we are at, the, we are at an impasse. Perhaps we should test which truth is the most truthy. If things are really as you say, then even if we bombard them with Galar particles, they should remain calm and stalwart. Pierce says, I get it. So all those sudden Dynamax Pokemon from before were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon that saved us all run amok? Hmm, it seems you are indeed capable of understanding something. Hmm. Uh, I'm working on creating an honor type. It's not going well. Oh, for Worf, yeah. Shilbert said, let's do a dial... dial Sorry. Shilbert said, let's do a dialectical debate. Yeah, definitely a debate me situation. It's like... You say... you Like, you're saying... Like, that's your opinion that Zacian and Zamazenta saved everybody. That's your opinion, okay? That's not fact. And even, it, like, it's your fact, okay? Like, my facts are different, all right? My facts are that I'm descended from some important guy, and I'm rich. Therefore, you need to debate me in a, in a public forum so that, I, so, that, so that we can know who's right and who's wrong. Horsepoint Mind says, battle my Pokemon in the marketplace of ideas. Yep, definitely. Definitely. Uh... I would not be would not be surprised if uh, Shieldbert reads the Fountainhead. Shieldbert says, "My magnificent brother, older brother, is wrapping up preparations above." You think? Hop says, "You think we'll let you get away with this?" I like how Hop ran over there because he was being covered by the text boxes. He's like, "Oh, people can't see me from an up angle. Let me run over here." That's called finding your light. It's a theater term. Uh, Shieldbird says, Oh ho, so you want to take the lift up? Then you'll have to defeat us. Bring it. Poison team away. Can't let our boy Hop get Mike Wazowski'd. That's right. He was getting Mike Wazowski'd. And then you take a picture of it, and Hop looks at it, and he's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe I was in the post game, and he's so happy about it. Uh, but yes, thank you, Horsepawn Mind, for the subscription. Really appreciate it when you guys subscribe. It uh, it really helps. Uh, let's see where are we? Oh, they're letting me prepare. So this guy has all steel types. So I'm gonna move MTG player to the back. Put root up, and. Uh, We'll keep peppers. So peppers has this ability <laughs> that I thought was going to be absolutely instrumental, and that is uh, corrosion. So it could poison steel types, but attack. But like poison attacks are still. 
still don't hit steel types, I think. So I don't know how to use it. It's like it's like weird. It's like it's not as effective as as you think. Literally, it hasn't come up. You know, especially because it's a fire type anyway. So it can it's easier to deal with steel steel types that way. So oh well, I guess maybe this is our last chance to do some testing. But these guys are pretty tough. I don't I don't particularly feel like restarting and losing a bunch of money just to try it out. Maybe we can try it out on some wild Pokemon later. This time I shall show you the opulent Pokemon I have raised explicitly for this battle. Wow. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Shieldbert. Surfetched. Oh, he's not doing all steel types. Uh, that's still, this is still a decent matchup. Poison Jab hits for 80, Drill Run hits for 80, but it's less accurate. Meteor Assault. That's a cool move. Is that is that Sir Fetch's uh, like signature move? Scabla plow. Pepper's good to level sixty three. Yeah, power nap is behind. Uh, let's let's switch Pokemon. I do want to test it out. Like uh, poison gas could miss, but it's like I, I my thought is like I think last time I tried it, like poison gas doesn't even land, or maybe it does. We'll see. Oh, she's thinking about camping. Oh, it does hit. Okay. For some reason, I thought it wouldn't work. That's cool. Alright. Check it out, guys. <laughs> we poisoned the steel type. Yay! Unfortunately, I'm pretty. Yeah, Venoshock has no effect. Okay, so they can't be damaged, but they can be hit. I think that's what happened. Is that um, I had, I was using attacks that had a Poison Rider, and they just wouldn't hit at all. So it, if you want to poison a Steel type with Corrosion, you need to use like specifically a Poison thing. Oh, I forgot Bronzog was Psychic. I probably... I shouldn't have been messing around. <laughs> it's like if I had hit it with two flamethrowers, it'd be done by now. Uh, Ghost... Ghost beat Psychic, right? Yeah. Go, MTG player! Uh, Horsewine Mind says, I feel like there are a lot of meteor moves in Pokemon. I wonder if that's something in translation or just a cool word to use. I mean, it, it might be. Um, like, meteor sounds cool. It could also be, yeah, it could be that in Japanese there are multiple words for meteor. And in English, there's only, like, meteor and asteroid. And, like, asteroid really really has like an outer space feel right a meteor is something that falls to earth um so um so yeah i don't know maybe shadow ball go get him mtg player it's super duper effective Clang Clang. 
Yeah, I, I need to switch Pokemon. Let's let's get Root again. Drill run. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> that move does a lot of damage for being a multi use move. I do like the animation from dr for Drill Run, I think it's really funny. It's like, uh, 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 I'm a drill. Oh, their light screen wore off. Uh, yeah. Let's switch to Screech Power. Yep. Go, Screech Power! I know you're in a hurry to lose, but we should enjoy this for a little while longer. It's super effective. Oh, it flinched. Oh. I thought maybe I gave it, a, like, an item that it increased flinching, but I guess I didn't. Does air slot... Yeah, also made the target flinch. Okay, so that's what happened. The move... The move makes the target flinch. That makes sense. Boo! You're not allowed to avoid the attack. Alright, here we go. Caprow. Kevin Evans. Hey, thank you for the follow. We're uh, we're just playing Pokemon. You know, poison types only. Ain't no thing. Uh, we've already beat the main game. Now we're doing the post game, trying to catch Zamazenta. Uh, it's gonna be good times. Kevin Evans says, "Bob and Weave." Yes, Pokemon. Pokemon are definitely bobbing and weaving, or we're imagining Pokemon to bob and weave because, you know, there's a limited animation budget and like 9,000 Pokemon. Yeah, let's go! These guys are freaks. They're like big weirdos. And so I am defeated. Hob says, we've driven them back. Now we can head up to the roof. Guo! Uh-oh. Well, it appears that my older brother was given enough time. Should we head up? Again, super chill of the bad guys to just be like, okay, well, you beat me. Go ahead. Like, you beat me in a Pokemon battle. I could try to physically restrain you, but that's not how things work here. Uh, I guess we'll revive Peppers, just in case. I'd hate for it to not heal us. I've got a bunch of potions, it's fine. Super Potion. There we go. Topped off. Alright. I should save. Uh, I should point out that even though I've played this game before, I do not remember this part of the game very well at all. Uh, so I have no idea what's about to happen. Other than, you know, 
Zacian and Samazenta are probably going to be involved. Fwaheheho! I did it! I did it, younger brother! Looks like it came, following after the rusted sword. I've bombarded it with Galar particles. Awoo! Gwan! Stop! Zacian is in pain! One second. <laughs> Angry Hop is funny. Yeah. And like, Hop, you're never going to win if you keep throwing rock. Everybody's figured it out by now, okay? Yes, that's right. We're not torturing dogs here. Except Zacian's being tortured right now. You're right. Yes, expose your true barbaric brutish nature. And reveal to us exactly who the false kings are. Awoo! Yeah! Older brother! D don't attack me! Go into town and sow as much destruction as you can! Grr! It's trying to suppress and calm itself, but it can't control all the power. Zation. I was hoping we could just calm it down like we did with the others, but our opponent is a legendary Pokemon. If you're thinking about catching it, think again. I hate to admit it, but if anyone can stop it, it's got to be you, Petunia. I'll keep everyone else safe down here, so you don't have to worry about a thing. You just focus on calming down Zacian. It's coming, Petunia! Googiago goo goo goo! That's definitely what noise that Pokemon makes. Googiago goo goo goo! Zation with its powers. Um. Oh, what? Zation is fairy steel, right? Why is Posen Jab super effective against it? Is it fairy fighting? Yeah, I guess it's yeah, I guess it's fairy fighting. Right? I don't remember. Um It's definitely going to be faster than me and just going to knock me out before I can do anything. So Pure fairy, then fairy steel when it has a sword. Okay, okay, cool. Well, that actually really helps me out. I didn't know. I didn't know that it uh, that the sword form had an additional type. Yang, 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 yang. God, this thing hits so hard. Uh, let's sludge bomb it. Yeah! Take that. And now take a sludge bomb. I wasn't supposed to catch it, was I? I just assumed that I wasn't. So like in this one, you can. In, it's Pokemon Shield, you can only catch Zamazenta, right? Zajan, are you alright? Woo! <gasps> Aru! Zamazenta? Rough. 
Uh, Horse One Wine says, that was it. That was the last Asian. Galar is doomed. Yep, you're right. I killed the last Asian. Bawoof. Thanks for saving me, Zamazenta. Looks like it still can't control all that power. I don't like this, Petunia. Not one bit. I'm going to go after Zacian. And this belongs to Zacian, not you. Ah! Hop took back the rusted sword. Wow. Yeah. What's with those eyes, man? These guys freak me out. Papa, please don't hurt my older brother. Leon can't use a map. Hey, thanks for uh thanks for hopping in here. We're playing Pokemon. My name's Rodrigo. This is my sidekick, Smokey the Smoke Detector. And uh, we're playing Pokemon, but only poison types. Uh, wait. Wait. Should I, should I just be real firm and be like, Zamazenta! Huh! Huh! Don't! Psst. Right, is that what you're supposed to do to dogs? <laughs> Look into Petunia's dead eyes. Never, never has the, like, weird unblinking... Well, I guess they do blink sometimes. Like, the weird, like, impassive stare of the Pokemon protagonist ever been so, uh, so relevant. All right. People really hate this scene because, you know, they turn him and they just kind of slide along the ground. Like, they don't turn in any way to turn around. It's one of those things that, like, people that don't like the graphics in this game. And it's like, and that's fair. You know, it's like, that doesn't look great. Um, it's it's funny because, you know, my, my dog Pavlov, right? Some of you guys have seen Pavlov. Um, he's got He's got a bad back and he's got kind of a, he's got a, a, a gimpy leg. And so, sometimes when he wants to, like, turn around, he has to, like, make a, a very wide, like, you know, he can't just, like, turn where he's standing and just, like, move his body to turn like a younger dog. He has to, like, basically go forward and, like, hang a left and then come back around. And it's like, that's kind of how I feel, like, Zacian and Samacenta are because they're so stiff. It's like if they want to turn around, they have to like go all the way, like they have to go all the way around this like circle area that we're at to face the opposite direction. Uh, let's see. Uh, Horse Point Mind says Leon can't use a map because he's too busy carrying the Galar region on his shoulders. Oh, that's true. Oh, is that? Oh, that's that's cool. Is Leon can't use a map a reference to to this? I just remember that uh, Leon can't find his way around things. That's cool. Um, Harvester says, "Howdy, Rodrigo and Chad. How are we doing today? Good, good, good. We're trying to, we're trying to get through this story." Uh, Lagna says, "The thousand-yard stare after all those horrible things that has been done to the Pokémons. Yes, uh, fifteen minutes of fame, a lifetime of therapy. <laughs> yep, that's that's being the champion." Harvester says, "Zamazenta doesn't d know how to do a three-point turn. Yeah, Pavlov does, but Zamazenta doesn't." Pierce says, you took complete control of the situation, plus it looks like the Pokemon is waiting for you. Oh, let's go. Should I talk to people? I feel like maybe now they have, like, interesting things to say. My older brother isn't harmed. For that, you have my gratitude. Oh, that's nice that they still, like, like each other, I guess. And we thought we could control it as we please. Truly, we have been foolish fools. Okay, well, as long as you've... As long as you've learned your lesson. 
Well, we lost. I'm sorry. Sorry for causing you trouble. We lost. Meh, we got caught. Sorry. All right. Samazenta gives you a calm look. Ready the rusted shield to catch Samazenta? Yeah, let's go. Grilled. Oh, I should have saved. <laughs> I should have saved and I should have looked at my party. But I was too busy talking to people. Alright, now he's... So, Zamazenta's a steel fighting type, I think. Oh, uh, no, none of my Pokemon are healed. Oh, uh, this is terrible. And I can't cheese it, you know, I can't be like, oh, well, let me, uh, let me just restart, because that's the whole point. I didn't save. I would have to do the whole Zation fight again. Yes. I did not save. Oh, good. That's good. I can, I can live with that. Uh, drill run. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Just dropping iron defense all day, huh? Oh boy. I guess I could just use the master ball and then this would all be over, huh? Should I do that? Should I just throw the master ball at it and be like, I don't I don't feel like I don't feel like fighting for like 6 hours. Until, like, I managed to hit you through all of your iron shield nonsense. Well, let's keep fighting. Let's do a full restore. Wow. Is it a max potion on Sargassum? Ah. Okay, so it's just his defense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can switch to Sargassum and see if I can get through that by hitting its special defense. Uh, Horsepoint Mine says use the Master Ball as a last resort. Harvester says, it does seem pretty Petunia. This is a waste of time. <laughs> this waste of time is beneath me. Eh. That that would kind of be in character for Petunia. Especially post... Um, post Eternatus. But yeah, we'll try to do it. We'll try to do it by hand. And then uh, see what happens. Let's go with Peppers. Actually put like... We can actually get it poisoned and start dealing some fire damage. Yep, you just keep doing that. Uh-oh. <laughs> it got tired of uh, shielding up, guys. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, Behemoth Bash is a Steel-type move. Okay, that's cool. Oh, maybe I shouldn't poison it, because that it, it might go down while I'm trying to catch it. Uh, it's too late now. Uh, let's hit it with a Flamethrower. Whew! Okay. Time to start throwing balls at it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, special offense is, is wide open. Maybe a little too open. Ah, uh, should I, like, try to catch it? 
Do you think it's heavy? Will a heavy ball help? It would be kind of rad to have it in a heavy ball. Okay, if we don't catch it, we'll reset it and go through the Zacian fight again. But I'm going to try with the heavy ball. You think I should go... I should just use the Master Ball so I don't miss it? I guess it would kind of suck to go through all those fights again. Maybe I will just throw the Master Ball. Alright, let's just throw the Master Ball. We know that we beat him. Like, there's literally nothing else that's harder to catch in the game, so... Yeah, but that felt good. We uh, we got Zamazenta down to the red and, you know, badly poisoned, so... <laughs> the Master Ball is in Petunia's colors. I feel like it makes sense to have the big legendary in that. Sure, sure. Sargassum grew to level 20... or 66. Harvester says, do it by hand it made me think of the calculator phenomenon where teachers covering arithmetic and algebra done by hand where were teachers covering arithmetic arithmetic and algebra done by hand just the worst predictor saying you won't always have a calculator wherever you go or did enough students grow up and design cell phones and especially smartphone apps for a calculator out of spite for just that reason i mean maybe you know it's been generations of teacher saying like you might not have a calculator on you and now of course we all have calculators on us at all times so yeah maybe it was out of spite or you know maybe it was just like that it's actually very convenient to just have a calculator on you at all times outrage outrage is good right Whew. do i want to sub Outrage for Dragon Pulse. I'm going to sub it for Double Team. Because Double Team just never does what I want it to. Also, is this the last fight of the game? Zamazenta's data will be added to the Pokedex. Zamazenta! Hero of many battles. This Pokemon slept for eons while in the form of a statue. It was asleep for so long, people forgot that it existed. Would you like to give Zamazenta a nickname? No. Legendary Pokemon just keep their names. Uh, let's... Let's send it to a box. Uh, send the Pokemon to the box as is. Wow, brilliant! Seems like you've been recognized by real royalty. Uh, Harvester says, risk calculator manufacturers took a hit when smartphones got big. Lots of things took a hit when smartphones got big. Like, the GPS market, like, the, like just buying a GPS for your car, was just starting to take off, because it's very useful. Um, and then, you know, smartphones started getting, like, really reliable GPS, and it just crashed that. Like, there's still GPS companies. Like, my wife, uh, my wife got a GPS for when, uh, when we go, like, hiking and stuff, so that, you know, people can find us and stuff. Um, but, but yeah, it's like, nobody needs a, a, a separate GPS now because you have a smartphone. Uh, might be the last story fight. Okay. Uh, Lagnus says, well then, I shall go to bed. I am exhausted. Have a good one, people. Thanks, Lagnus. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming by. Sonia says, ah! What a sublime battle. We were so preoccupied with fussing over who the new king was. How terribly uncouth-like. <laughs> How terribly uncouth-like. Hey, you, spiky head. Where do you get off calling Pierce Spiky Head? Ah, uh, why would I go expecting those two to start learning some manners now? My younger brother and I will atone for our crimes. Please escort us to the appropriate place. If you really want to atone, what's with that posh superior attitude? 
Ah, uh, whatever. Petunia, I think I understand why you became the champion. But please, don't go calling me anymore. Seems like I'm only getting called out when you're in some sticky situation. You got Pierce Rare League card. Yeah, Pierce is like... Like, Pierce, you go... Like, Pierce helps you, like, break into the tower, too. And it's like, yeah, Pierce is kind of, like, weirdly this, like, additional kind of story character in a way that, like, none of the other trainers, like, none of the other gym leaders are. Ah, uh, you got Pierce's rare league card. Up, oh, see, we forgot to look at Melanie's card. You put the league card in your album. Professor Sonia, I can't ask you to forgive me, but I am truly sorry for deceiving you, because you got caught. I was really hurt at first, but I've rallied. Thanks to you, I ended up learning quite a bit. Ah, that came off a bit more sarcastic than I thought it would. Hey, hey, well, please continue to do your best as a professor. Pierce is going to take them to jail? Are there jails in this world? I know there are cops, right? Some of the some of the trainers you fight are cops. So there must be jails, I guess. Uh, Sonia says, Righto, we've stopped them from causing any harm. Still, I hope Zayshin is okay. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Petunia's butt is beeping. Petunia, your Rotom phone. Probably hop, I reckon. Hop says, hello, Petunia. I was just, whoa, hey, calm down. Ow! Heh, I suppose you heard that. Yeah, I've got Zation here with me. Are you okay? Zation started going crazy, so things have been better, but I'm hanging in there. I could sure use your help, though. Get over here quick as you can, would you? I'll be waiting for you in the heart of the slumbering world. He sure sounds like he's got his hands full. Guess some things never change. Grilled. Even in its Pokeball, Zamazenta seems worried about its partner. We should go to the Slumbering Weald and see how Hop and Zation are doing. Okay. Piers leading them to jail would be such a betrayal. Is Piers a sellout? Uh, Horsewine Man says, no way is Piers a cop. Right, right. It seems weird that Piers would do that. Like, maybe he's just gonna induct like induct them into Team Yell. He's he's gonna be like, here's here's how you, uh, yeah, this is how you serve your community service. Uh, you are now part of Team Yell. Put on some like fuchsia makeup and uh, follow my sister around. Right? It's like Piers would be like the last person to take someone to the cops. Okay, so we'll save, and I gotta show you guys something uh, here before too long. So, uh, let me see. This is probably the best one to do it in. So, uh, it was my wedding anniversary here just a little bit ago, and... Um, my wife we kind of have this like standing arrangement that uh we will get like unless there's something like really specifically good we'll get each other dinosaur themed stuff for the house so we have a whole wall of like dinosaur art so i got her some dinosaur art but my wife being Trixie, didn't get me or actually she did still get dinosaur art this year but uh, aside from that she commissioned this thing. Let's see if let's see if you guys can see it. You guys see that? It's hard to it's hard to do the whole thing. It's hard to do the whole thing and still me like being able to look at it. So yeah, that's Petunia with Ribetina and Lil Veggies and Dr. Violet and Oakley, and Rude, and Sargassum, right? So that's like that solid team of six. Yeah, it's like super cool. Uh, she also gave me the, or she also got like the file for it. So maybe at some point 
we'll incorporate it into the channel in some way. But also, the poison run is almost over, so we'll see. We'll figure something out. Um, haven't put it up yet because we kind of don't have room. Um, but we'll we'll find a good place for it. So I gotta put it away now. Uh, let's see. Horseman Man says talk, taking them to Spikemouth for some back alley restorative justice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Pierce is Pierce is just going to do something. Uh, yeah, thank you for the happy anniversaries. Uh, Horseman Man says it's so good. Yeah, it's really good. And it's like it was like a coworker of hers. So when whenever I if I manage to put up the file, I will um, I'll credit the artist. Um, I don't have I don't have the artist name handy right now. Um, Harvest says she got you good. Yeah, uh, it was it was payback because um, again last year she couldn't find anything specific, so I got her a a dinosaur like a little little like porcelain long neck dinosaur for for rings. So that you know, you if you take off your rings, you can like slide them on its neck, and it'll hold them. And so it was like this thing that she needed because she has rings and she you know doesn't always have a good place to put them. And it was dinosaur themed, so I did really I I I, I won the anniversary last year, but she definitely won this this year. Um, Horseman Man says, I wonder if you could get a petunia mode out of that. That's a good point. Yeah, I I probably could. Um, there's a massive blank space behind me. Oh, yes, that's true. Um, the way that, the way that I shoot, though, with, like, the camera where it is, like, it, like, <laughs> to have that behind me, like, when you walked into the room, it would have to be in, like, such a weird place. Like, yeah, it's like, here's the wall. Like, if you think of, like, just this square as being the wall, it would be, like, here, right? So, like, here and, like, probably really far up, right? As opposed to being, like, centered in the center of the wall or, or whatever, right? So it would just, like, have to be in a really weird place for us to be able to see it. Um, still, you know, maybe. I do, like, someday, the hope is someday um, we move to a better place, hopefully... Uh, some amount of funds are coming in through Twitch or my book or, you know, whatever else I'm doing. And then we're able to get like an actual office and then I can, I can put it up, you know, as, as part of my, my gamer room or whatever. Um, is Smokey the jealous type? No, Smokey's a, Smokey's a trooper. He's a, really, he's, he's kind of a health and safety guy, so... Uh, his his rise to fame has been more of a surprise than anything for him. Uh, let's see. Get my card short, capture card back. Okay. So yeah, that was pretty nice. My wife, very, very thoughtful person. We should go to the slumbering world and see how Hop and Zation are doing. Alright. Can I just fly from here? You can tell I'm old because I try to fly by going to the Pokemon screen. That's how old people do it. Yeah, take me to Postwick. Alright, back into the slumbering whale do we go. How'd she beat me here? Want me to show you to the center of the woods where Hop is waiting? Yes, just take me there. Okay. 
I don't know if there's going to be a fight. I guess my Pokemon are in okay health. That's probably good enough. Ghost of Alex says, I like the music in this area. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty spooky. There, there, everything's all right. Grr. You don't have to lose control. You can manage this. I know you can. Kevin Evans just subscribed. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's good times. Hang out. We're uh, we're trying to finish the post game for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, only using poison types. Hop says you're the true hero who protected the Galar region after all. Er. Bark. Oh, got everything under control. See, I knew you could do it, champ. Hop, you look a fright. You two made it. And yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm down Zacian, so... And it's like, how fast does Zacian move? I imagine that, once again, there was a scene that we didn't see where, like, Hop jumps into one of those, like, Corviknight taxis and is like, follow that dog! And then there's, like, a super cool chase, which, you know, we didn't get to see. Um, Hub says, and yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm down Zacian, so. Sigh, rushing in and trying to calm a legendary hero ahead was awful reckless. Bark. Let's praise Hop. Hop, you're amazing. Y you think? I'm pretty chuffed to hear that from you, of all people, Petunia. Coon. Oh, no. <laughs> Zacian's a weeaboo. What? Wait, really? Are you sure about this? What did Zacian say? <laughs> Hop can understand them? That it thinks I'm worthy of it. That it'll become my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that was it anyway. Wait, seriously? That's totally crazy. Is it? Is it really? Okay. All right, here I go then. See, he caught it with a regular Pokeball. I had to throw a Master Ball at mine. Hop caught Zation. Yeah, that's the best scenario. You two really are something. I still don't quite see anything like that in myself yet. But thanks to your help, I'm starting to. Petunia, I've got a favor to ask. Though I hate to look like I'm copying that posh jerk bead. Still, I want another battle against you. Everything started right here. Okay, so there's one more story battle at least. In the slumbering world... All right, let me save. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I think this team is much better suited to... to hold up against Hop's team. Like, the team that, that I went at him last... that I went with last time it, it was just like very vulnerable to that uh, Cinderace because I forgot that he had Cinderace because I thought he had a because we took Sobble so I thought that he had Rilla, Rillaboom but Leon has Rillaboom so we'll try this 
I don't remember what... Oh, he's going to open with a dub wool. So, yeah, maybe we open with MTG player. I don't remember if that dub wool has any, like, non-normal attacks, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Horsepoint Mine says, to be fair, it doesn't seem like Hop is playing an RPG. That's true. Uh, Harvester says, really looked like Hop was winding up to fight personally. Yeah, he caught Zazian, or Horseman Mine says, he caught Zazian by making friends with it. I think he might be in, like, a character-driven visual <laughs> novel. Yeah. Yep, and that's why he keeps losing. That's why he keeps losing, but he's allowed to continue. Like, if... If I lose, the game starts over, right? The game, like, sends me to a Pokemon Center, takes my money, and says, you have to win this fight. Like, for him, he's actually allowed to lose his fights. Um, Ar Harvester says, Hop could really use a win. He ashed it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's kind of where Ash comes from, right? It's from, like, all of the... All of the game's ideas about, like, oh, Pokemon are your friends, and you should treat them well and stuff. All right, let's try that. Now watch him not open with that dub wool. Ugh. Let's go. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. Go, MTG player! Oh, now that I think of it, does MTG player have any non-ghost attacks? I'm like, oh, haha, -ha, he's not going to be able to lend a, lend a hit on me. And then I'm like, oh, wait, can I hit it? Ooh. Let me see if I can Hypnosis Dream Eater it. Hop is going to be real upset about this. This is some disrespect right here. I don't even know if Dream Eater does more damage than Psychic. Oh, but it heals you. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh-oh, it woke up. Yeah, but it's like a bunch of turns behind. It's just going to like... <laughs> Keep using uh, Cotton Guard or a full restore. That works too. Uh, it doesn't do much more damage if it does more damage at all. I'm saying let's just keep using Dream Eater. How much Dream Eater do I get? Oh, it's like 15. Nice. Get him, MTG player! What level is it? 69? Nice. There we go. Get that sheep out of here. Snorlax? I will not switch Pokemon. My goal was always to surpass Lee, but he's not something. I'm not sure what my goal is now. Oh boy, Hop, don't... <laughs> don't put anything on this fight, please. Well, it worked last time.
All right, let me look at what the actual calculation is. Psychic is power 90. Dream Eater is power 100. So, yeah, I guess we keep hitting him with Dream Eater. <laughs> when I made a... Uh, a Dream Eater Ghastly. I did not expect that I was actually be gonna be able to like su successfully use it during a story fight. I, it, it really was much, much more of a like novelty, but even if that Snor Snorlax wakes up and just wrecks me, like it's it's kind of been worth it. Hop learn, Harvester says, Hop learn nothing from uh, Rayan's gym challenge and using semi-competitive competitive strategies. I mean, yeah, that's the thing, right? It's like, if you just, uh, if you go for, like, a majority normal types, you're very susceptible to, like, a handful of things, like ghosts and rock types and stuff. Heavy Slam. Is Heavy Slam a steel move? Okay. Um, let's just hit it with Psychic. Oh, it knows Crunch. That's bad. Well, MTG player, like I said, <laughs> even if that Snorlax wakes up and wrecks him, MTG player really... Uh, Really did very well. I'm gonna go with this because I assume its uh, special defense is lower. It's flamethrower. Okay, here's where I lose all the momentum I already had. Uh. Cross poison. What's up? Pin curtain. Yeah, I got a switch. Let's get Root involved again. Here comes Rude. You and Sonia followed your own paths. I was the only one left behind and trying to catch up. Hop. Uh, maybe a Pokemon battle is not the best time to analyze your life. Oof. I have a pink curtain that I use for raids. It has a lightning bolt and a hydro pump. So I I use it exclusively to catch or to fight um, electric type uh, Dynamax Pokemon, right? Because then they basically can't do anything. Like the pink curtain just like absorbs all their all of their electricity attacks. And then hits them with a Hydro Pump every turn, which, you know, it doesn't have a stab, but it's still pretty good. And especially with that boosted uh, special attack that you get from Lightning uh, from lightning Rod. Screedy bibbidi bibbidi boop. Yeah, Pink Curtain is cute. Uh, Pinkurchin is cute, and it's like part of that new wave of Pokemon that are like, these Pokemon live in the water, but they're not water types. 
It's like Pinkurchin and like Clobopus and Graplocked, right? Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out Cinderace. Uh, let's keep current Pokemon. But then I went around saving Pokemon, and I realized that I could help other people. Okay, alright. Hop is making the best of this, that's good. Oy. What do I need? Okay, I still have I still have Sargassum in the pocket. If I need it. Hmm. That Cinderace is freaking fast. I'm probably not going to get a chance to go. Yeah. But it's using a fire type move. So maybe I resist it. Nope. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> starters. They go first and they hit really hard. Alright, just got a few very vulnerable to fire Pokemon left after this, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's out of here with the poison. Thank you, poison point. Like, I know... I'm pretty sure this is just the... Comp like, it, it has to be, right? This is just what moves... Like, they just gave Hop's Pokemon, like, a lot of good coverage. Um, but doesn't it really seem like that Cinderay is no Zen headbutt? Because he's like, I need to find something that's, like, super effective against poison types. Otherwise, Petunia is going to keep embarrassing me. Uh, let's see. Horse One Man says, Water is the most common type, and it's also the favorite of one of the big Pokemon uh, names. Uh, Junichi Mazuda, I think. Okay. It's all inside baseball. Okay. I, di I did not know that. Harvester says, I think Low Veggies would resent you your always goes first comment. <laughs> That's true. Low Veggies uh, does not always go first. But Low Veggies does hit really hard. Power Nap grew to level 62. Good for everyone. Oh, there's more. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, I can take a Corviknight like this. You really got me with that one, but battling sure is fun, Petunia. Who do I need to? I need to. I need to get uh, Peppers back online to deal with Corviknight, because uh, Rude's not gonna be able to do it. Okay, putting up a light screen, that's helpful. Special moves. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess I'm going to try to blunt force it through the, through the light screen. Oh, nice. I avoided that attack now that I got rid of, uh... Now that I got rid of double team. Swagger. Oh, attack rises and it gets confused. It's not too confused to use Hydro Pump. Ooh, a critical hit. Okay. 
Uh, let's... I feel that being confused and Hydro Pump actually not hitting, like, being accuracy 80, is, like, really pushing it to use Hydro Pump here. Uh, should I swap out? Ah, let's just go for it. Nice. Got him. The opposing team light screen wore off. Oh, good. All oh, right, Zacian's here. Yeah, let me switch. So Steel Fairy. So Peppers should actually have a, a really good. It should be a good matchup for Peppers, except, of course, that Zacian just has such immensely powerful stats that, you know, it's like no Pokemon is actually a good match against it. That's the kind of strange feeling I'm having. You feel it too, don't you, Petunia? Sure. Yeah, Hop, whatever you say, man. I know it's been tough for you, so, yeah, totally, I feel it too. I knew you must. It's kind of embarrassing, but I'm glad it's not just me. Right then, laugh or cry all you want. All right, sword dog. This is gonna suck. Um, do I just want to go in for the flamethrower, or do I want to poison it? Because I can't poison it with this. Like this Pokemon specifically can poison him. Let's poison it. Or let's just get one shot. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, let's see. Let's bring out Power Nap. Who will at least resi resist any fighting moves. And I gotta start, like, using, throwing in Max Revives here. How many Max Revives I have? Five, okay. Uh, let's get Rude back online. Root should be helpful. He can at least... His, uh, like, defense is actually high enough that he can actually take a hit, probably. Hopefully. It's like, at this stage, the game really expects that you're gonna have, like, Eternatus in your party. Like, both Eternatus and Zamazenta. So it's like, yeah, here comes Zacian. He's an absolute truck. Alright. You just have to tank one hit. And hit him with this drill run. Do not die to this behemoth blade. I'm not going to win this fight. It's like, even without stab, it just hits so hard. And it does have stab with Behemoth Blade. Alright, let's max revive. Maybe I can do a switcheroo. Yep. Oh, good. At least it's taking recoil damage. Uh, okay. We're gonna try and do a switcheroo. See if that works. Okay. I hope it was gonna use... Oh, why would it use it against a dragon type, though? Yeah, it, it was just going to use Behemoth Blade. I need to do that switcheroo differently, and I'm going to run out of... Ah, God. 
Yeah, I don't think this is happening, guys. I think, uh, like, I gotta, like, I'm, I just do not have enough items. Or, or like, it doesn't matter that I have enough items. Anything it does just, like, one-shots me. Unless I have, like, more items than it has, like, power points. But any move it does kills me. So it doesn't matter. What level is it? 70? Ugh. Well, guys, good thing this isn't a, a Nuzlocke. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. Yep, I'm just going to I'm just going to reset. No way. Just can't like there's no way. Harvest says Petunia is being sacrificed for Hop's character growth. You know what? I guess I don't know if I'm maybe I should have lost just to see if I'm actually like Allowed to lose? Oh, I might need to take this call. Hang on, guys.
All right. Sorry about that, guys. I just uh, sometimes you get phone calls you gotta take. Um. All right. Let's actually, yeah. Let me <laughs> let me try to be less bad at this. How are my captions? Borkin. Check, check, check. One, two. Okay. All right. So that Zacian is at level 70, right? So that definitely... Like, I, I also, like, just don't have enough, uh, do not have enough poison gas, toxic, yeah, let's swap it out, what's the accuracy on toxic, 90, yeah, I guess poison gas hits, like, multiple people, but toxic hits harder. Oh, that's not what I meant to use. <laughs> I, I actually don't have enough XP candy to to get them back up. Oh, and I gotta deal with like all of Hop's other Pokemon too. Hmm. I definitely went into this very nonchalantly with like, oh, I'm gonna use my like Dream Eater thing. I mean, it worked pretty well. Basically took out that dub wool without taking any damage, but yeah, I uh, I forgot about how you know Zacian was there. Maybe this is the time to bring Eternatus. Not that Etern like Eternatus is like particularly weak against Zacian, but I wonder if it can actually like what level is Eternatus? Sixty. No, I'd have to level it up anyway. Um, Steel Fairy. I'm going to bring Oakley. Yeah, Power Nap is actually not doing anything for us here. Um, What else? Uh, Harvester says it's an impressively tough battle, even for a post-game story fight. Man... Yeah, that Zacian just hits so hard. Like, I have half a mind to actually go grind. But I hate grinding. <laughs> I guess I could, uh... I could do some, uh... Uh, raid battles. Because raid battles give you XP candy, but... Also, I could look at what these guys have equipped. Um, somebody could use the Shell Bell. I'm going to give Root the Shell Bell. And I know I have some leftovers kicking around somewhere. I think. Boop, boop. That's not what I meant. Do I really not have leftovers? I'm so used to having leftovers in my other game that I'm like, oh, obviously I would have leftovers, but I guess I don't. Unless somebody randomly has them equipped somewhere, but I don't think so. Yeah, no. Okay. Hmm...
Do you want that for Cinderace? Uh, does Hob doesn't have any fighting types, but I should bring. Should I swap this out for Ribetina to take on that Snorlax? Oh, this is what I was thinking out. Yep, the um, sludge, the black sludge. And then Ribetina can also... Nope, that'll be... Nope, because it's a fighting move. Harvester says, my ADHD makes it tough to keep track of leftovers, so I feel you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I just, like, smear items, like, for my raid guys. I, like, exchange items all the time. Completely forget who has what. It takes, like, a, a very, like, specific amount of, like, brain power to be like, okay, I need to... uh I need to f figure out who has what. Okay, I'm going to try this team. Like, <laughs> didn't didn't actually level anything up. I don't know. Got level 70, though. Uh, yeah, actually, let's... Can I fly away from here? I'm going to guess not. I'd have to walk all the way out of the weld and do that. So I'm just going to go in, try to do it again. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then I'll go... I'll run out with my toe between my legs and uh, and cry. Actually, yeah. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to fast forward through all of... Uh, through all of uh, hops. <laughs> don't do it. Don't hold anything back. Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through, like, hops, like, character growth. Because uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to finish the stream here. Steel resist psychic, right? Harisha says Petunia manipulating time to do a tactical retreat, then come take her revenge would feel very on brand. Yeah, yeah. Petunia, like Petunia, probably like Petunia likes Hop. Like she, he's been a good friend, but uh, she's definitely not the type to just up and lose. God, this fight! It's like, oh yeah, the fight starts with Hop using a full restore. Alright, back to sleep, Dubwool. And as long as I have enough PP, I'm just going to do that to the Snorlax, too. If it wakes up, I'm just using Dream or uh, Hypnosis again. Because last time I was like, oh well, I'll just switch to a different strategy. And it's like, it just... That's, that's one of the points where things kind of turned around on me. Still doesn't resist Psychic anymore? Okay. Alright, assuming that Hop doesn't have another Restore in the tank. Okay, good. I think it resists... Oh, I, that is not what I meant. God. I think it resists Psychic. Yeah, 
Yeah, this will be good against the Snorlax too, because... Uh, you know, the joke was made as like, oh, Hop, Hop didn't understand, um, like, competitive teams. But Hop does understand competitive teams, because if you look at competitive nowadays, there's definitely one Pokemon you're always going to see, and that's Zacian, right? Let's eat his dreams. God, Snorlax just has so many hit points. This is gonna take a week. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> You're not allowed to avoid it. All right. Well, I brought I brought a Pokémon specifically for this. Tank it. Okay. Uh. Uh, so... So I... I selected Revenge for uh, Ribetina. So I don't know if Revenge... Like, because Revenge is like, if you get hit first... Uh, it does more damage. So I don't know if... I... If, like, the move also slows you down. But, it, like, this... Like, the character's built around Revenge... So, <laughs> it's, it is a very slow Pokemon, so it might actually be sl slower than the Snorlax. Snorlax has a higher special defense than physical for what it's worth, and I don't know if this one has the thick fat ability. Okay, alright. Good to know. I'll keep current Pokemon. You and Sonia followed your own paths. I was the only one left behind and trying to catch up. Pyro Ball. Yeah, Galarian Slowbro as a Pokemon has very good stats. So that's like, that's like very helpful, right? It's like, oh, good. Like, a Pokemon that can take a hit. 
Uh, all right, shell sidearm. Nope. <laughs> you can't always count on shell sidearm to save your life. Uh, Harvester says it, it also has low priority. Yeah, it might. Ah, uh, pa boop. Let's bring out Rude. Ben Kirchen. No. Keep current Pokemon. Oh, I should have switched it because Ben Kirchen has that water type attack. But hopefully it's not faster. Harvester says Slowbro has been a beast from day one, I think. It's typing is super cool too. Yeah, the Galarian typing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice. Oh, avoided it. Well. God. Like, I am playing worse. Like, my, my Pokemon are, like, doing worse this time around. So, that doesn't... That doesn't inspire confidence. Max Revive Oakley. Hopefully whatever Pincursion does here, Drag Algae can take it. Yeah, Sargassum's been watching uh, Lil Veggies use Petal Dance, and it it came up with Outrage as a as a counter to it, or like as a as a complement to it. Switch Pokemon. Let's see if Peppers can... Let's see if Peppers can just, like, hit it. Battling sure is fun. Uh, Harvest says, not to, as always, bring stuff back to D&D, though. I like to see a fire-type move that resembled Flaming Sphere, big special damage once, and chip damage on the field, but not trapping like Fire Spin does. Uh, would be interesting if they went back to Gen 5 battle mechanics with triple battles, where your individual Pokemon position actually mattered. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of what uh, G-Max Wildfire does. Like, G-Max Wildfire is like not dependent on weather right it just like hits you once pretty hard and then keeps doing damage to you same thing with like the the g max versions of for like water and uh and grass for the starters finally finally some forward momentum Yeah, I don't know if Hop is if Hop has another full restore. God, if he has a full restore, that would just 
Yeah, it's like, if he has a full restore, then we can't, like, we can't win this fight, right? Uh, let's keep this current Pokemon. And I'm gonna... Oh, God, I'm not gonna be fast enough to poison it. Hopefully... Hopefully those tiny amounts of levels that I put on it, on, on this, on my Zalassal, will, like, actually matter, and it can maybe take one hit. Yeah, I don't even have that ready. Crap. Alright. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can get, uh... Let's see if we can get Oakley back online and see if she can actually... Oh, Oakley is back online. Nice. Um... Yeah, let's revive something else then. Yeah, I think Root also, like, everybody keeps getting one shot, so. Yeah. Alright, let's see if you can take one hit. Oh, Crunch. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think we can win this one, guys. Like, we're gonna have to go grind. But, it, uh... I had a theory... That the game will actually keep going if we lose. Because that would actually be kind of cool if Hop g gets to beat you, right? So, let's try it. Let's see what happens if we lose. I'm not gonna... Like, I I'm not going to waste any resources, or any more resources. Yeah. Hop says, I know you haven't reached your full potential yet, Petunia. Train and prepare as you much as you like. I'll be waiting here whenever you're ready. Okay. So, I, I think you do have to beat him to get the next thing to happen. But, it's like I didn't even lose any money or anything. Okay. Alright. It's, it's too bad because, like, I wish that it, the story would advance. Right? It's like, okay, you beat Hop. Or Hop beats you. And now we move on to the next thing. And Hop gets to have that, right? But he doesn't. You you can't you can't be nice to Hop. It's not allowed. Uh let's see. So yeah. Uh let's see. Harvest says, Did you ever check out Pokemon Conquest, Rodrigo? I didn't finish it, but it was an interesting tactical spin-off. I've heard about it. I think you guys have talked about it here before. I have not played it. Um I, I, I haven't looked into it, but I'm interested. At some point, I might go searching it out, but I also have a like a pretty uh, a pretty decent queue of uh, of other games that I need to finish or or even start. So um, it it makes it a little yeah. Uh, it's just you know back there somewhere on the list. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's wrap up the stream there. Uh, sorry to that this concluded with uh, people watching me lose twice, uh, but I guess that's sometimes just how it goes. Um, I'm going to. I I guess maybe I can like grind up without it being on stream because that seems boring. But I don't know. 
I, I guess it would be a good opportunity to like chat while while we're grinding. So maybe we'll do some of that. Um, I guess I could always send the Pokemon over to Uncle Ringo Lopez and have him level them up to 70. That would actually be the fastest way to do it. And it's kind of cheaty pants, but also whatever. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, uh, Harvester says game confirms this is not Hop's story. Yeah, definitely. Um, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, guys, uh, thanks so much for um, Harvest System. I might charge up my 3DS and check it out again sometime. It was neat and centered around my style of gameplay. That's cool. Yeah, I like strategy stuff. I, I you know, I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. I played Disga Disgaea 5. Started Disgaea 6. Kind of fell off of it just for other reasons. It really didn't have anything to do with the game. Uh, so I might pick that up at some time too. That, that one's also on my list. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's wrap it up here. We'll catch you guys next time. Uh, remember, uh, if you look down here, down here in this area, you can see where you can find me on Twitter. You can see where you can find me on YouTube. So at Fearsome Critter on Twitter, Lopez Family Variety Channel on YouTube. I know it's a mouthful. Uh, but once you're subscribed, you don't need to worry about it. And of course, El Pikachon on Twitch, if you're watching this um, later on in the VOD, or, or if you're watching it later on on YouTube. Um, so yeah, uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you for watching, and thank you for hanging out and playing. <laughs>